elsewhere in another video, I spoke about uh, simple ways of inserting and deleting rows and columns into your Excel spreadsheet. Here we're going to talk a little bit more in detail of your options for inserting and deleting rows, columns, cells, as well as clearing cells, cell contents, and cell formatting. These features exist on the Home tab of your Excel 2007 ribbon over in the Cells category where you have options for inserting and deleting and formatting and also you have a little icon over in the Editing group of icons that allows you to clear, you know, clear certain aspects or certain cell contents including cell formats. Now looking at our spreadsheet here for automobile sales uh, we've got uh, the months of the year going down in column A. We've got uh, cities and states and some arbitrary numbers regarding automobile sales for that particular location for that month of the year. And we're going to work with this particular spreadsheet example as we look at the options. Now the simplest way for clearing or deleting cell contents is to highlight by clicking and dragging across the range of cells and then hitting the delete key on your keyboard that deletes the contents, clears, clears the contents out, and keeps your spreadsheet intact. I'm going to undo to bring everything back again. You also have the option to use the clear command, which looks like a, it's supposed to look like an eraser. And if I click the drop down there, I can say clear contents. Notice I also have the option to clear formats which would clear any font or formatting attributes, including borders, as we have in this example. And clear all would clear everything out of the selected range of cells. I'm going to click on Clear Contents, and that performed the same task as I did before when I just simply selected the range and hit the Delete key on my keyboard. I'm going to bring everything back here again. All right, now, say we want to insert insert some columns. I can click anywhere within the column that exists to the right of where I want to insert my new column. So say for example I want to insert a new column in between existing columns E and F. I can click a cell anywhere within column F. I then go to my insert menu option here. Notice that these menus have drop down arrows to the right. Clicking that drop down arrow presents me with additional options. I want to insert sheet columns here. Notice I can also insert rows, cells, or an entire sheet. I'm going to say insert sheet columns. That, in effect, shifted my former column F over, which is now column G. It gives me a new column I can go ahead and input my data into. Let me undo and go back. Say I want to insert two columns to the left of column F. I can click on G, drag over and select F, these, both these columns are selected, which is telling Excel that when I go to insert, I want to insert not one, but two columns now. And the columns will insert to the left of the leftmost selected cell. So I go to insert, click the drop down, insert sheet columns. That gives me two new columns and shifted everything else over to the right. Let me undo that. All right now, if I wanted to insert rows, say I wanted to insert a row above my January row, I can click anywhere within my January row. And then I go to Insert, Insert Sheet Rows. This will give me a new row above the row within which I have a cell selected. And there I go. If I want to insert two rows now above my January row, two additional rows, I can click and select both the January row, a cell within that row, and a cell within the row above. I've got two rows are selected here. I've got cells, in other words, selected in two rows. I then go to Insert. I say Insert Sheet Rows. That gives me two additional rows within which to work. If I wanted to delete these rows, I can click on a cell in any of the rows I want to get rid of. And you want to be very careful when you insert, or particularly when you delete, that you're not deleting any cells or rows or columns that are calculated within formulas if you need that data, if you need to preserve that data. All right, I'm going to click a cell here. I'm going to go to the delete option this time. I'm going to say I don't want to delete cells because that's going to give me the option to delete just the cell and it's going to ask me what I want to do with the rest. And it's going to shift everything and it could likely shift things out of whack. 
I do have the option here though to delete entire row. I could say OK. I alternatively, and I'll delete row 4 now, could have alternatively could have gone to the delete, the drop down, and say delete sheet rows that way. And I'm going to click this row again, and I'm going to say delete sheet rows and delete that again. All right, insert columns again, or insert rows. I'm going to select the two rows, cells in two rows here. This is going to allow me to insert two rows above the row that contains January. Insert, insert sheet rows. And there I go. Now notice in this case, it gave me two rows that took on the column or the row height of the row above. That's fine because you can always adjust that height. All right, let me go ahead and undo that. All right, now say you want to delete uh, the contents for the Minneapolis store here for January and February. All right, how about January through March, the first quarter? All right, I select that range of data. Now, if I come over to the delete option and I say delete cells, again, it's going to ask me what I want to do. And if I say shift cells left and OK, look at what happens. It deletes the cells entirely and it shifts the Scranton data over to the Minneapolis column and the New York data over to the Scranton column and it skews and shifts everything out of whack. Let me undo that. Let me go back here again. Delete. Delete cells. If I say shift cells up, well, it's still going to cause a problem because what it's going to do is it's going to take the data for the remainder of the year, April through December, and shift it up to replace the three cells that I just deleted. Let me undo that also. You're probably starting to think that clearing or just using the keyboard delete key would be the answer, and that would be the easy way here. I'm um, going back to the delete button here, delete cells. I have the option also to delete entire row, which we don't want to do because we're going to delete the three rows, January through March. Delete the entire column. Well, we don't want to do that either because that will delete the column that contains the data from Minneapolis. So I'm going to cancel that. So if you want to delete the data within your cells, just highlight it, highlight that range, and hit the delete key on your keyboard. Easiest way to do that.